Find out where all the tools you would need to change a tyre lie in your car. Learn this when you take delivery of your car and never change the position of those tools. Second, and you need to do this every time you fill air in your tyres, check the air pressure in your spare tyre as well. You do not want to end up having a flat tyre and then with a spare tyre that has no air as well. That would be absolutely horrid. Before you change your punctured tyre, remember to leave the car in gear if it's a manual or shift into park mode if it's an automatic. Also, before you raise the punctured wheel, bear in mind, lock down any one of the wheels just so that the car does not roll off the jack, which is potentially a very dangerous situation. Before you change your tyre, there are a couple of rules you must follow just to keep things safe. The first of these, use the warning triangle. This effectively warns motorists coming up behind you that a vehicle up ahead is in distress. Place it at least 2 meters before your car. You should also wear a safety vest, a glow-in-the-dark safety vest. This effectively again uh, indicates to motorists that somebody is on the road uh, replacing or working on their car and especially handy at night. Changing a tyre can be tedious and especially hard on your feet. So, use a floor mat from inside your car. And well, just get down on it because this makes things a lot more comfortable. Before you take out your tyre, you need to loosen the nuts, not take them off completely. Just <coughs> loosen them a bit. <coughs> For the last one, sometimes most modern cars offer a safety nut, a locking nut. And you need a particular tool to get that fifth or the sixth bolt off. Use it. For the next step, you need to jack up your vehicle. For that, you need the jack. Find the spot that corresponds with your jack mount. Now, you can do this the next time you visit your workshop or just before you take delivery of your car. Identify these positions so you know exactly where to jack up your vehicle. Here's another tip just to stay safe when you're changing a tyre. Roll the spare under the vehicle and I've seen this common mistake. Most people place their feet under the car while taking the wheel off the hub. And that is a bad idea. Just in case the jack collapses, your feet will get stuck under the car and you know the result of that. When you're done removing the nuts, just remember to keep them in a safe place so that you can find them when you need to place the wheel back on again. Here's another tip. If you're not able to lift the wheel and the tyre onto the hub, you can simply use your wheel spanner. Place the wheel spanner up and there you go. Once you tighten the first bolt, remember there's a technique to tightening the bolts just so that you distribute the load equally amongst all the bolts. After the first bolt is tightened, diagonally go across to the other one and then another and so on and so forth until all the bolts are tight. You can now begin to lower your jack. But before you do that, take out the punctured tyre and continue tightening the bolts. until they're absolutely secure. And of course, don't forget to take out your safety bolt. There you go. A bit of hard work, but then hard work never killed anybody. Thanks for watching our DIY videos. To know more, watch and follow our Total India Facebook page.